Hi, this is Victor Pierantoni, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about gratitude, giving, and how those two things lead to abundance in all areas of your life. Stay tuned. So one of the biggest limiting beliefs that a lot of people have is that they come from this place of lack. They come from this place of scarcity in their own lives. So whether you're doing really well in some areas and need some guidance in other areas that you feel other areas are not as fulfilled, or you're not doing well in most areas, you're struggling, maybe you have some financial debt, maybe you're struggling with your health, whatever it is, this video is for you. Because this video deals with how to start from a place of abundance rather than a place of lack. Because most people, they start from lack. See, we talked about in other videos how you're always saying two things. You're always speaking in two directions. Either you're speaking in the direction of what you want and pursuing that, or you're speaking against what you don't want. When you speak against what you don't want, you're coming from that place of lack. So it's important to always be in a mindset of abundance, in a mindset that you have. So many people, for example, they suffer from being in debt. Right? They have the financial debt and that causes some suffering in their life. It causes struggle, it strains relationships. And when people are in debt, one thing that they focus on completely is they focus on the debt. They focus on getting rid of the debt, getting rid of the debt, getting rid of the debt. And they're always focusing on that. And when you're focusing solely in that direction, all you think about is debt. And when we said that you're always saying two things, either what you're speaking towards, that of, towards what you want, or speaking against what you don't want, either direction of those, whatever you focus on, you move towards. Because your focus creates your direction. So if you're focusing on debt, on debt, on debt, on debt, you're gonna keep yourself there. Because in your mind, that is your focus. That is what you're moving towards every single day. Even though it's getting out of debt, you're still focusing on debt. You're gonna create more debt, you're gonna move towards more debt. More things that put you in that place because you're coming from that place of lack, that place of scarcity. So, I'm gonna tell you a little story about how this shifted for me. This was my mindset shift of how I shifted from a place of lack to a place of abundance. And it, ha it didn't happen when I was making the money that I wanted. It, did it happened when I was struggling. I was a personal trainer and I was struggling. You know, 20 bucks at the time, for example, was a big deal, right? That was a big portion of my groceries for the week. So that'll give you some context of where I'm going with this. So I was in Toronto and I had gone to this bus station. And when I was at the bus station, a man who, he looked like he was homeless, looked like he'd been traveling a lot, and basically his bag was a garbage bag. It had all of his clothes in it. And he walked up to me, big smile on his face, you know, really friendly. And you could tell right away that this man had a good heart. And so he asked me if I could help him. And at the time, I was just learning about this, learning about coming from a place of abundance rather than a place of lack. And so I, I said to him, I'm like, okay. I'm like, yeah, I'll help you out. So he was expecting me to give him maybe like one to maybe $5. But I walked over to the ATM, pulled out a 20, and I gave it to him. And at the time, 20 bucks was a lot. I was in college, I was struggling as a personal trainer, didn't have a very consistent or sustainable business, so 20 bucks at the time was a big portion of my groceries, like I was saying before. So, I take out this 20 and I give it to him. I say, here you go, man. And after that, he, you know, he's really thankful, really appreciative, and then you know, he introduced himself to me. He's like, my name is Paul. So I shook Paul's hand and said, it's great to meet you, Paul. Take that $20, do whatever you need to do with it, and you know, I hope you have a good night. He's like, all right. So he's really thankful, really appreciative of it. I felt good because I was able to give to him and you know, help somebody who needed that $20 more than I did. So a couple of weeks goes by and then I, I'm back at that bus station, downtown Toronto. And I'm walking outside and it's cold. And I look down and on the floor, Paul is sitting there. But this time he doesn't have a smile on his face. This time he looks defeated. He looks like he has no hope. And I walked up to him and I said, Paul, what are you doing here? He mumbled some answer to me. And I said, Paul, you know what, Let, let's go for a walk. And I only met Paul that one time, but something about him, like I said, told me that he had a good heart. So Paul and I are walking downtown Toronto and just before I had gone to Toronto, I lived a little bit north of Toronto and just before I had gone for that, for that week, I had learned the proverb that if you're always giving, 
and it must mean that you always have. And so that really stuck with me. So I'm walking with Paul and in my pocket, as I'm walking, I'm thinking about this the whole time while we're talking, I had $15, I had three fives. And when we got to the end of our walk, I looked at Paul and I took out the three fives and said, I'm gonna give you these three fives. Two of them are for you. One, you need to give to somebody who needs it more than you do. In this place of lack, you're never gonna get out unless you start from abundance, unless you start from a place where you have enough to give. And that's the whole psychology of abundance. It's knowing that you have, you have enough, that you're abundant, trusting yourself, that if you give, that it's gonna come back to you tenfold. And in this moment, when that $15 was the last cash I had in my wallet, and the next money coming in was gonna come from my next client, I gave it to Paul. I gave him those $15 and I said, 10 of this is for you, but you take five of this and you give it to somebody who needs it more than you do. Or you can divide it into five ones and give it to, to five people who need it more than you do. The point is, you wanna come from this place of giving. Because if you're always giving, then it must mean that you always have. And Paul looked at me and he shook my hand. And he said, God bless you, man. And I smiled and in that moment I felt that gratitude that I was able to help this person who needed it more than I do and that's the moment in that moment where I was able to give even though I needed it that's when I became a rich man and just to add some more context to that story one week later I had a new client who was a paid in full client and I made twelve hundred dollars so you wanna come from that place of abundance, that place of always giving, because when you support life, when you support that that needs you or needs those resources more than you do, and you do it from a place of giving, not gritting your teeth, but a genuine place of giving and gratitude, you're gonna be supported in some way or another. It will come back to you. So the lesson here is, if you're always giving, then it must mean you always have. So for instance, if you have some financial debt and all you're focused on is paying that financial debt, then you're gonna stay there. And my recommendation to you, my suggestion, is that even if it's a small amount, I don't care if it's $5 a month, I don't care if it's 2% of your paycheck, whatever it is, find something to give to someone else. And if you're saying to yourself, I can't, there's not another dollar to spare, then you're gonna stay where you are. But if you're willing and you're ready to take your life to the next level, to come from a place of abundance, not a place of lack where you're always struggling, to a place where you're gonna have what you need, when you need it, how you need it, it starts with changing the way that you think. So even if it's $5, $10, $15 a month, find somewhere to give, find somebody to give it to, somebody who needs it more than you do. And from there, you'll start from that place of abundance. And above all else, to be abundant in your life in all areas, you must have gratitude. When you're grateful, you're rich. When you're grateful, you're focusing on what you do have. You're focusing on the assets that you do have. So when you're grateful, you're grateful to yourself, to the things that you have in your life, to the people that you have in your life, that's where all the richness comes from. Money can come and go, but gratitude is that state in which you're actually appreciating it and acknowledging what you do have in your life. You're acknowledging that abundance in your life. So come from a place of gratitude and focus on what you do have. Focus on your assets. What are you abundant in and what can you give? Start from there. Because if you start from lack, you're gonna stay in lack. Start from abundance. Start from that place which you can give. Start from that place of which you already have and the world will open up for you. Thank you for watching. If this video helped or added value to your life, please like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, leave a comment at BreakthroughToVictory.com. And remember, richness begins with gratitude and giving.